years ago when I was in seminary, I got to know internationals on a personal level. And I saw them having to leave their homes, their children, their families, their churches. One day when I was in the library, and there was a time on Newsweek laying there, and there were a lot of bodies piled up, and there was an elderly gentleman sitting at the end of the table. And I heard him say, that's my son. And it was his son. And how he found out was through the magazine. And that's probably one of the most important things that uh, drove me to not let that happen to the people uh, that are away learning about God. As a seminary professor, I had the opportunity to teach all over the world. But one day, Janie Pillow called me up and she said, Rich, we've got to put seminary in a box and ship it around the world. And then she said these faithful words, if I can get the money, Rich, can you get the box? And I said, sure, I can do that. So she went out and found a friend who bought me a computer. And that's how Third Millennium began. The first thing we wanted to do was prove that a video seminary curriculum could be created and that it would be valuable to students all over the world. Hola. Здравствуйте. Ni hao. Marhaba. We used to record in the richest bedroom, but we constantly have to stop because the noise from the airplane flying over us. What we really needed is a professional studio. Our first real office space was on Wilshire Boulevard in Fern Park, Florida. That's the first time our team was all together in one place, and that's where we built our first studio. Once we proved that our concept really worked, we started producing our lessons in a more sustainable way. We began making the lessons faster and faster, and the quality just kept getting better and better. Demand was so great that we had to move our coverage over to Amazon, which really expanded the reach of what we were doing. So that was a great thing. We're seeing inmates change. We're seeing inmates walk with God. We're seeing inmates take leadership. We're so grateful for you guys that you, that you produce this stuff, that you produce it for free and you give it to us freely, and it's changing lives. Interviewing professors and pastors from different countries and different theological backgrounds made our curriculum more global. I think the first person that we interviewed was J.I. Packer, who was included in our series, The Apostles' Creed, with another 30 other professors. I remember when we finally had enough material to create a certificate in Christian ministry, and Birmingham Theological Seminary partnered with us in doing that. That was so exciting. That was the first time that ever happened. The 
Pomoja Conference in Nigeria was gave us a great opportunity to distribute thousands of USBs to pastors and church leaders in the African area who came to the conference. This was the first time we were able to put our entire curriculum onto one USB. Well, everything changed when we received a two and a half million dollar grant over three years. Now, we had to raise half that amount in order to receive the funds, but with the Lord's help, we did it. And because of that, we were able to complete the entire two-year English curriculum by the end of 2017. So starting our Global Opportunities team really helped prioritize distribution. Now we have an entire team and department dedicated towards bringing our curriculum to more people in more places and even teaching them how to use it. This is just the beginning. We are humbled by how God has used our ministry in the last 20 years to train church leaders around the world. We can't wait to see what God has in store for the next 20 years. Thank you for your partnership. Please continue to join with us as we provide biblical education for the world for free.